All right, I am ready to paint the black on my cat. Um, I need to start with a green handle or red handled brush. Um, one of the smaller medium sizes is fine. I'm gonna use a larger one just to show you it can be done. Um, and we will also need some black paint. When you start painting, you wanna think about the fact that um, there are some lines to leave white. So don't be wild with it. Um, and then anytime you have like big, big splots of paint, like sometimes we paint, we have big splots that has lots of paint there. You know, before you go back and get more paint, spend a little minute and spread out what's already on your paper so that you are not wasting, but also, you know, creating your interesting uh, cat and not creating unnecessary um, textures. When you paint, it's important that your brush sort of moves with the direction that you, or the, the imagery that you wanna do, um, as opposed to against it. So you can kind of think about the fact that this cat um, probably has some fur and most fur grows in a downward fashion. Um, we want to try to keep your brushes going, brush strokes going vertically as much as possible so it looks like fur. Um, if you have some going this way and some going that way, it does make it a little hard to understand and read your paint as fur as opposed to something else. When you're painting around the eye, feel free to just paint over that practice Eye of Horus information as long as you leave the almond shape unpainted white.
make sure when you're done with your black paint, you simply snap the lid on if you're the last person to use it at the table. That way this cup stays nice for other people in other classes.